Hey everyone, I hope everyone is doing okay out there. I just want to thank everyone before I get started with my video today that watches my videos and pays attention and all the commentary. I appreciate it on YouTube itself and on Twitter. Um, I can just tell by the commentary that people pay attention and it really means a lot to me. Um, I'm going to be using voiceover on my Apple Watch and my phone to demonstrate how you on the watch, change your activity rings um, using VoiceOver and Watch OS 7 because it's a little bit different than before. And then on my phone, I'm going to show how um, those that use VoiceOver copy and paste things from one place to another. So for on the Apple Watch here, I, um, I'm going to go to my activity app. And then what you do is you scroll with two fingers, you slide up, and you go to the very bottom of the page. Rings. Page two of seven. Page three of eleven thirty. Page 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 seven of seven. And then you're gonna go to change goals, and it doesn't say change goals buttons with voiceover, but you still push it. Change goals. Cancel button. Move goal. Two hundred forty calories. Adjustable. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. So for each one of these, you would swipe up or down with one finger, just like voiceover said, and then you swipe right with one finger to the next button. So you could switch it. Move goal, 240, cal 230, cal 240 calories. So you see I can adjust it. Next button. And then I double tap on next. Cancel button. Exercise goal, 30 minutes. Adjust And then there's the next one, and you swipe can up swipe or up or down to change that. And with exercise goal, it's 60 minutes to 30 minutes, you can change it to... Next, but exercise oh, goal, 30 minutes. 60 adjustable. minutes to 10 minutes, I'm sorry. Swipe up or down so with one finger to adjust low. the value. Next, button. Cancel, button. Stand goal, 12 and hours. And there's a stand adjustable. goal, and you can adjust that swipe from 12 hours, adjust the value. 12 hours to 6 hours. And then you swipe right to okay, button. the OK button, and you double tap. Activity, heading. So that's all that is. Um, I actually just learned it the other day because I hadn't changed my goals in a while and on, I wanted to raise it a little bit and I found out that um, that's how you do it now. Instead of double tap and hold on your rings, you just go into the activity app and go to the bottom of the page and then you go to change goals and then you can change them there. So with my phone here, I'm going to copy and paste real quick. So I have some text here that I'm going to copy to clipboard, and that would be copying. So it's a three-finger quadruple tap is how you uh, copy and paste. Create post. Add post to album. Caps are cool. Cute and cuddly. Caps are cool. Cute and cuddly. Copy to clipboard. And you'll hear it say copy to clipboard, and then you're going to... Uh, go to your app switcher, so you go to the bottom of your phone, and then you slide up with one finger, and you'll hear uh, two sounds, and it'll let you know that you're in app switcher mode. App switcher. Facebook. Active. Facebook. 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 Oh, Twitter wasn't open. In photo slash selected. No background. Sorry. Facebook. Facebook. Twitter. Eight new items. I'll go to Twitter. Select. Home tab. Account menu. Because normally I would have that open, but... Right. What's happening? Text field. What's happening? Text and so field. now I'm in a post, and this is where I'm going to paste it. So I'm going to use my rotor and go to the right with two fingers. You turn right with, in, with the rotor. Rail screen input. Lines. Speaking rate. Language. Paddings. Screen recognition. Edit. Misspelled words. Oop. Edit. And I'm going to go to edit, and then I'm going to flick up with one finger to paste. Paste. And then double tap. Caps are cool. Cute and cuddly. And then it pasted the text from the one place and put it in the other. So that's how I would copy and paste using VoiceOver on iPhone. Hopefully that made some sense. Um, another thing real quick is I learned something really cool today um, with HomePods. And I'm learning a lot of stuff and I plan to do a video on some of the things that you can ask Siri on HomePod. 
But one thing is really cool that um, I, I learned is if you have two home pods, but they're not paired right next to each other or anything, if they're in different rooms of your home, like one could be upstairs and one downstairs or something, and as long as they're signed both into your um, your home kit um, accessories, um, then from your lock screen of your iPhone, if it's off, it'll show, like if you're playing a song, it'll show the media playing, and then there's the airdrop um, feature, and you double tap on that, and it'll show all the different rooms uh, home pods or other accessories in there in your home kit and if you see one room that the one that's playing and then you see other rooms you can add them um, to the one that's already playing so that they'll play too and then um, you just hit done and then you can have multiple home pods playing the same song in different rooms and so it's cool so I could stand like middle of the row like right between the two like one could be upstairs but close enough for me to be able to hear it still and then one downstairs and I can hear them both and it just sounded kind of cool um but that's something I learned so um even if you if they're not necessarily paired and if they're in the same room or different rooms you can still play music and allow both of them to from your lock screen to play the same song and stuff and adjust the volume from your phone and everything so that's kind of cool so like I said, I plan to do another video and talk about um, some of the things that you can, because I'm learning new stuff and now that there's more than one HomePod around here, um, I use Siri a lot more so I ask her a lot more stuff and it's really cool. I'm I'm enjoying sharing things as I learn and go uh, with everything, with different apps that I find or get to learn better um, and different, you know, if there's a website or um just a feature or something of a, an existing product that I already have or something new tech, technology wise so um, I'm enjoying this and some things I've kind of already knew that I talk about and some stuff is brand new to me that I just learned so hopefully it makes sense but I appreciate everyone watching and thanks so much like it's I really appreciate it um don't forget to like and subscribe thank you